AI agents. AI agents. 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 Hi, I'm Archie. I've spent the last few years working with AI across some of the world's biggest organizations, building, testing, and most importantly, deploying AI solutions that drive real value. I don't really follow the AI news cycle anymore, not because I'm out of touch, but because by the time it hits the headline, it's old news. I'm just in a lucky position where I can just pick up the phone and chat to some people actually driving this. For some time, I've been sharing these insights with C-suite execs and helping with their strategy to execution. But I want to continue to extend and build out the community so that people like you can learn from someone who's not only building agents, but actually figuring out how to deploy them in enterprises and make them valuable. You've probably seen flashy demos, agents that book meetings, write code, or do market research. This all looks amazing, but under the hood, it's just a smart combination of tools stitched together with some clever automation. So let's break it down step by step and cook up a real understanding of AI agents. I want to break this down into a simple five layer model that anyone can understand. Machine learning, LLM, workflow, agent, and human step model. Step one, machine learning. Imagine an assistant in the kitchen who can recognize ingredients. They know a difference between a tomato and an apple and a lemon, but that's what machine learning is, pattern recognition. This has been around since Alan Turing in the 1950s. It isn't net new. Step two, LLMs, large language models. Now this assistant can talk about food. You ask, how do I make pasta? They'll explain the whole thing, but they're not doing anything yet. They're just simply playing back the recipe books. LLMs are what has kicked off this whole AI hype. The paper Attention is All You Need unlocked new capabilities through Transformer models. Goodbye, word to vec. Hello, GPT. But remember, they're only as good as the data you train them on. And you still need to manage things like hallucinations and reliability. I could do a whole episode on that, but I'm not going to. But how about step three? Workflows. You can hand them a recipe, utensils and food. And now they can follow instructions. Chop this, boil that. But they still need you to trigger it. They need you to tell them what to do and when. This is just like your organization. This is your typical workflow automation, like sending an email. You still need to fill in the blanks. Think of this as an end-to-end -end process triggered by context, powered by tools, but still manual in orchestration. Now step four, now they're running the kitchen. They check the fridge, plan the meal, fix problems on the fly. If they're out of garlic, they order more. They'll know the goal is dinner and they'll figure out how to get there. That is an agent. Sounds super cool and very intuitive. An AI agent doesn't just follow instructions, it understands a goal and figures out how to get there. There are different types of agents, reflex-based, goal-based, utility-based, learning-based, but the key here is the logic of your workflow is now embedded into the systems. Finally, there's a the head chef, that's you. They're not just making dinner, they're inventing new dishes, training staff, running the business. They've got long-term goals and original intent. They're checking the agent is doing the right thing and tuning it when it doesn't. AI can help us scale, automate, and through think how we work, but it's not replacing us. We'd need a transformer-esque paper again to do that. That's why when people ask about AI today, I always say it isn't taking over humans. It's just simply as making what we do more efficient and creating new ways to operate. Building tools, tools that like calculators, spreadsheets, or the internet, change how we operate. So what does this look like in practice? Let me just show you a quick demo of an agent I built, something that does more than just talk. This is kind of a no code to low code tool that I use. Um, I'm guessing most people watching this video won't be the most technical. Uh, if you are, I don't mean to take offense. Um, I will be doing some lang chain and deeper kind of demos around actually using code and building out agents. But for this audience and something accessible, I want to use this. It's called Relevance AI. I've got it from one of my communities as well. Um, and all this agent basically does is, if I just go into the build mode here, you can kind of see I've prompted it. So I want it to be a sales research assistant um, and someone that can basically help me research a company, research a prospect, and then pull together a report. So I can then go into the meeting and it can be the best form. So you can see how these different elements come together. Like I mentioned, agents, they're more around these different kind of tools. So we've got our pre-call report generator. So that's using an LLM. And if I go in here, quickly show you, right, you can see how it uses an LLM and it can kind of pull out the different elements within there. It uses O3 Mini. You can choose different ones, but that's the one I've just gone for. Um, you can research a prospect. So I've built this basically to be around like LinkedIn. So just let you go into LinkedIn, scrape it out, and then use a LLM to actually summarize that LinkedIn data, like a resume for me. And then the third tool I use in this agent is all about researching a company. 
So it uses something called Firecall Web Scraper, which basically gives you the ability to go in and I've put my API key in there. Again, I don't want to get too technical in this video, but all you need to kind of know is this will scrape the web for you and it will give you five pages of information into an LLM, which will then summarize it for you, right? You can also build out your own knowledge, so your proprietary data into these sort of agents, um, and you can have your own triggers. So this one is literally just triggered through this uh, web page here when I run it, but you can get it sent to you via Outlook or WhatsApp or whatever you want, right? So it's super clever, this tool and intuitive. But yeah, just very quickly, I'll give you a demo of how it works. So say I wanted to search Mike's profile and company and see here at where I work, Sullivan Stanley, we can help them, right? So it's basically come back and it's asked for a URL and it's asked for the actual company where I work. So if I send that through to them, you'll then see in real time how my agent's working through the different tasks. It's quite literally searching the URL, it will then scrape his profile, and you can start to see how it's using that tool there, right? So it's using that element within the background um, and it will be looking into him. So it's already done that and you can kind of see when you click into it some of the outputs. So it's even telling me how many followers he's got. He's going to love that, but it will give an overview of who he is and his experience and stuff like that. It will then go all the way through. Um, I've already built one, run it earlier, so just so we can run through in real time and make it a bit quicker. But you can kind of see how it goes through each of these different steps. And then what it gives me at the end is a really good summary, which talks about who he is, his company, how we can help in our company, some actual talking points and some objections and counter responses. Um, and then the recommendations. So this has been very much like fine tuned to my company, what exactly I need for the report. So this is why it's so much better than something like just an open source model. It uses those different elements, but it's also scraping certain elements of the website. And it just really helps with that automation of different stuff. I hope you found this useful. This was super quick. I plan to use, you know, do a lot more actual hands-on demos in some of my future videos. But for now, I just wanted to give you a view and bring it to life for you. So there we go. The bottom line, AI agents aren't magic. They're just the next evolution of how we use language models. They can act, they can plan, and they can deliver real value if you design them right. And that's the key. Not just talking about AI, but building it in the right way. My series will continue to kind of demystify this for you and talk about the best ways of implementing it. So I hope you found this useful. If you want to try out my AI toolkit, the link's in the bio. And if you've got friends, colleagues or family trying to get their heads around AI, send this their way. Subscribe, follow along. And in a few months, you will be the smartest person in the room when it comes to AI. I can promise you that.